Yeah, little boo. You like playing on the steps? You want to get it? Oh. Here. Here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa. This limp has pretty much gone away, if not all the way gone away. However, we noticed like a little bump and a discharge from his neck. And we look closer and it's, there's just a nasty, like a grease spot where he's been grooming a lot and scratching. And we looked and closely and there was a puncture wound. So he must have gotten to a fight. And a lot of it had drained. It is pretty grisly. But tonight it looks much better. But however, we still have him going to the vet just in case. Now his regular vet, believe it or not, I called them on a Wednesday, and they said the earliest they can get them in was the next Wednesday, which is too late. By then, it's either you know, probably, oh, no, he took it away from me. By then, it would be either healed or much worse, which we didn't want to chance at. So I called another location of the same vet in a city that's just a little bit farther away, maybe 10 minutes farther away. <laughs> See, he's definitely up to spirits. He's probably fine. I probably don't need to bring him in, but just to be sure, I'm going to bring him in tomorrow to a different place. But anyway, the other vet... They were scheduled out until January, and I said, this is a semi-emergency. There's a discharge, a little bit of a pussy discharge. He seems way better now. But, you know, so I asked him, like, hey, you know, who can I bring him to? The second vet seemed to be a little more sympathetic to his situation. I asked him, where can I bring him? And they recommended another place that's a little bit farther away, but they welcome walk-ins. You might have to wait for a while, but they can get you in that same day. So we're going to go in tomorrow just to be safe and... I have a friend at work and her sister is a vet tech in a different state, otherwise I'd bring him to her in a heartbeat. And she said that he it's probably gonna be fine if you clean the area, which we've been doing, but she recommended to get him checked out regardless. And they're more than likely gonna shave the spot. It happens to be about right, about right there, right where my hand is. There's some dried, you can feel some dried stuff right there. And more than likely to give him antibiotic. He was at the vet not too long ago, he had a little injury in his arm, which I'm sure you remember in a previous video. And they did the same thing. So I'm only working half a day tomorrow. I'm going to come home a little early. And shortly after coming home, we're going to the vet, little boo. Make sure you're okay. He seems okay. The look at him, he's playing pretty well, but he's going to hate going there. And whenever he's sick, usually I give it a few days. You know, he had that limp, which seemed to get better every day, and it did. But when we noticed that nasty pussy discharge we just want to make sure he's okay we've been keeping him inside more obviously with the situation and when he's outside we supervise him as best as we can just in case well we gotta go get it little boo <laughs> he's pretty much fine but we'll we'll bring him there anyway it's a different vet one we haven't been to before but it's the only one that's going to take him right now it's pretty crazy whoa oh, oh okay yeah he's not going to be too pleased when daddy comes home from work get a little cat carrier out and I don't have much time. As soon as I get him from work, it is pretty much going to be get him in his crate, get him to the vet. I'll do a little cheat time for the vet, okay? Yes. Daddy's just going to work half a day. I'm going to come back, load you up, and then we're going to head on out. I don't think we'll be there too long, hopefully. He seems to be okay now. But you never know, so we're going to go just in case. Hold up. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. We're going to be a good patient, huh, little boo bear? Yes. It's okay, honey. We're going to a vet. It's a different vet, but they're going to make sure you're okay, all right? It was a real struggle to get him in there this time. He had never fought so hard. But we were able to get him in. The other place is going to get you in very fast, so we got to go to this place, okay? And they seem pretty nice, at least on the telephone. I'm sure they'll be nice in person, too, a little boo. Yes. He's calmed down just a little bit, huh, boo? He'll be okay. A little bit of snow today, huh? Look, little boo, they got a Sunoco station over here. Yes. We're here, little boo bear. It's a nice building. All right, we're gonna go inside pretty soon, okay? This is a walk-in place, so can you be loud in there? Then they'll maybe let us in quicker. We got a little snow, don't we, little boo bear? We sat next to another kitty, didn't we? They were a little more quiet, though. So there's a little bit of a wait, about an hour or so, so we're gonna wait in the car for a little bit longer. And then once we're called, we're gonna go in there. You can be okay, little boo bear, aren't you? You're pretty calm now, huh? Yeah, it's okay. We'll probably be calling in about 40 minutes, so we'll just chill in here for a little while, okay? 
I'd like to let you out, but I know that's going to be a mistake, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, I can't risk losing you. We're way too far from home, okay, little bit. Let's stay in your little cage for a little while. You've been pretty quiet for a while, huh? You want to take a little nap nap while we wait? Okay. It's okay, cutie pie. We'll be all right. We're waiting for the doctor. Yes. It's okay, honey. He didn't want to get out of his little cage. We'll be fine. Dad, Daddy's here with you. You'll be fine, I promise. Look at all these little kitties on the wall, little Boo. And doggies, too. They're playing tug of war. It's okay, Mr. Boo. We're almost done, Boo. They just got to give you a little antibiotic shot, okay? Yeah, and that's it. And then we'll be out of here. Ready to go home, little Boo? It's time to go home now. That's all they had to do. Just a little bit of antibiotic shot. Yeah, and there was a bunch of dogs when we walked out. There was a nice husky. And looked like a lab mix, maybe a golden retriever that was looking at you. Yeah, you matched the golden retriever. <laughs> they just looked at him with curiosity. They were nice. They were friendly dogs, huh, little boo? All right, enough yapping. Time to get you home, okay? This might be the first time Cinnabon's been on the highway. He's doing okay. He's much calmer, though. We're almost home, little boo. As promised, little treats, okay? Yes. Okay, I'll open them first, okay? Yeah. You seem okay too, don't you, little boo? Yes. He just needs to relax for a while. Oh, here's the last one for now. Whoa. You deserve, deserve that, don't you? You should probably chill for a while, okay? Mm-hmm. Got the antibiotic running through your veins, huh, little boo? Yes. Mm-hmm. Making sure you're safe. What a good little baby bear. What a good little baby bear. Yeah. Daddy, come to Mama. I want to show. Mama wants to see a little boo. Okay, Daddy. So go upstairs and see if. Bless you. All right, I'll take you up there, okay? He wants more treats. Cinnamon, are you gonna chill in the bed for a while? Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.